Hello everybody, it's Rob here from the old Koikura Winery and my trusty sidekick, Chef Isaac. Hello. <laughs> Good side today. Today we're going to be doing blueberry and white chocolate pancake. Okay, this is for preparation for Sunday morning's breakfast. Yeah? Every, every Sunday we like to have pancakes with the kids and uh, Isaac being the guru that he is, yeah, he likes to get stuck in there and help us out. Yeah? So this pancake is a bit different. It's a bit more of a sponge. Uh, but believe me, once you've had one of these, you'll be going back for more. And it fills you up, okay? So for starters, you're gonna need 360 grams of flour. You'll need five eggs, whole eggs. You'll need 150 grams of sugar. Now, if you want to go less on the sugar, go 80. Yeah, halve it if you want to, totally up to yourself. You'll need 20 grams of baking powder. You'll need 250 mils of milk. This stuff here, okay? To start off with, mix the whole up together, as Isaac's gonna do, give it a bit of a whisk up there. For our, ingredient, for our topping today, or our flavoring with the pancake, we're using blueberry and white chocolate. Now, you can use pineapple, dice it up, uh, add a little bit of almond extract into it. Um, you can use peaches, whatever's available, or it can just be plain and just add some vanilla extract to it or essence, okay? Totally up to yourself. Um, it is a thick pancake. It will take a few minutes to cook, hence why we prepare it today, so tomorrow morning we just rip straight into it, okay? So what we've done, we'll put a knob of butter on here, and Isaac's finished whisking that batter there. We've got 30 grams, 35 grams of uh, fresh blueberries. If you don't have fresh blueberries, frozen berries is just as good as well, okay? Sometimes if not better. Right, take that out, mate, here we go. So what Isaac's gonna do is he's just gonna start sultaning them off. We're gonna release the old um, lovely purple chlorophyll out the blueberries and the juices, and it's gonna make our pancake nice and purple. Uh, and the same with strawberries, if you want to do that. Um, or even if you, you just want to use uh, honey also into your pancake, yeah, go for it. So Isaac's going for that. Once the butter's turned purple, blue, whatever you want to call it, it's basically a mix is ready. Make sure to preheat the oven at 200 degrees, okay? So when we do the pancake, we're going to put the mixture in there over a low heat. And then we're going to stir the blueberries into the batter. Really get that chlorophyll colouring into that pancake mixture there, okay? How are you getting on, buddy? Okay. All right. Anybody want to say hello to you? No. No? Nah. <laughs> I said arrows. Arrows? Yeah, at the beginning. I said arrows. I said arrows. Oh, arrows. Yeah, yeah. I said arrows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we've got going here, you can see it, the butter's done slowly, and that's what we want. We've all that colour in there, okay? Get into it. And that's the same if you want to use pineapple. Pineapple is really good for this recipe. Um, dice it up, salt it up and butter. Add the mixture to it. Yeah, it's lovely. All depends what you've got available in the fridge. Kids love blueberries. I've added a little bit of uh, white chocolate to this uh, recipe. And we're only using about 15 grams of, oh, it's going to go more, but we're using about 15 grams of white chocolate, okay? Nothing over the top. Um, I'm not always keen to put a whole lot of sugar into the batter, so. The recipe stays 150, but if you want to go lower or you want to even cut it out, by all means cut it out. There's enough sugar in the berries and the fruit and the pineapples as it is, yeah? Okay, so here we go. This is what we're after here. Nice and colourful right there, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to give the, the batter to Isaac and he's going to stir it in there. So, like so. And you start stirring it, buddy. Buddy, keep right down. That's it. Get all those berries in there, get that colour change in there. You've got to be quick though, okay? Excuse me, mate. So we want to get right there really quick. Lift up all that lovely juices from the blueberries. And you can already see it changing colours. That's what we want, yeah? Bang. Okay, mate. And then what's going to happen is going to have a lovely crust underneath it with this nice low heat. That's enough, mate. That's it, all done. Well done. We're going to sprinkle some white chocolate. Go, bud. Up to you how much you want to put in there. 
All of it. Ooh. All of it. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. All right, okay. Guess this pancake's only going to one person. Oh, he's put the whole lot in. Go for it. So we're just going to lightly stir it in there. We don't want to upset the crust now. It's looking pretty good out there, eh, kids, huh? What do you reckon, Isaac? What's young? Yeah, breakfast of champions, yeah? Oh, God. All right, so once that's done, we've got a, a slight cross stunt to happen with the old pancake. You can see you start to slowly start to move away. It needs a few more, a few more minutes, probably another two minutes, and then we'll pop it into the oven. Give it three minutes in the oven, take it out, flip it out, put another butter on top, put it back in the oven for another two minutes, remove it. Remember that hand or that pan is hot. And with those scan pans, woo, they stick to your hand big time. Pretty dangerous, buddy. So just take care, huh? So with us, we've already prepared one already. To finish it off, I'm going to add some icing sugar to it, some honey. How's that, mate? Mm. Awesome. Awesome, huh? And there you have your blueberry pancake. Oi! Okay. Oh my oh. god! What, Tom? Um. All right, there you go. Kids' favourite. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh.